Hey guys, you know what the most popular email we get? It's a very simple one. You guys want to know about the brand new Ford Super Duty. Well, today we're doing you one better, aren't we, Andre? Yep, because of this just then, we have three new heavy duty pickup trucks. We have a Ram, we have a Ford Super Duty, and of course we have a GM truck, the Sierra GMC, and we could all compare them together. Yeah, now, over the next week or so, we're gonna be doing a lot with these trucks. So we're gonna be towing with them, we're gonna be off-roading with them, but in this video, we're gonna just do a quick walk around, and maybe a bit of a drive with a surprise driver uh, to kind of give you an idea of what the difference is between the Ram, the Ford, and the GMC. Shall we start with the Ram, Andre? Let's do it. Okay, so tell me about this Ram 2500. Well, actually, this belongs to TFL Studios. It does. This belongs to us. We call it the Trail Hunter because it started life really as a Ram 2500 heavy duty with a Cummins turbo diesel. I love and you, Andre, but it's a trail hound. What did I say? Trail Hunter. <laughs> oh, I was just at the Tacoma Drive. You've got your Toyota on the brain. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's talk about this uh, Ram 2500 with the Cummins, because all of these are the diesels. Yeah, they're all turbo diesels. Uh, and then the Trail Hound part of this truck is that we gave it a suspension lift with BDS and Fox shocks, and we put it on 37s, but the powertrain is stock, yeah, right? Let me open it up and we'll show them, okay? I got it. You, you talk about it, I'll pop it open. Yeah, the other mod we did on this truck is this massive AEV bumper uh, in the front with a 16.5 K pound winch. So one of the biggest uh, worn winches you could put on a, on a front of a pickup. Well, the cool thing is all of these trucks that we have here are really off-road monsters. Yes. And either they've been modified after market or from the factory. You can tell it's an off-road or it's got an old pine needle in it. Yeah. So what's uh, under the hood here? I know it's a Cummins. Yes, it's a 6.7 liter and because this is a 2500 series truck, the power rating is 370 horsepower, 850 pound-feet of torque. It's got a six-speed automatic transmission. This is the Ram transmission. And yeah, four by four. And it looks badass. I gotta say, I think you did a great job in modifying this. But what if you're not a Ram fan? Shall we go over and show them the other AEV modified vehicle that we have here today? And that is, of course, the GMC. It's funny how AEV works both with Ram and with uh, GM. Yeah, they do, uh, but the General Motors AEV integration is a lot more tight, right? Because this truck, the 84X, starts out as a lift from the factory with General Motors, and it starts out with DSSV Multimatic shocks uh, that Multimatic and GM tunes together. And then, of course, the AEV addition provides really big steel bumpers and wheels and skid plates. These are 35s. And this is done at the factory, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's show them what's under the hood. I suspect it's a Duramax, because yep. it says so right there. Yep. <laughs> and an Allison branded transmission. Yeah, the keyword being branded. Yeah, so GM and Allison has worked together and separately and then together and then separately for many, many decades. Um, this is a 6.6 .6 liter V8, and it's the latest iteration of the L5P, 470 horsepower, and 975 pound-feet of torque. Oh, no water. It hasn't and collected any water in the little uh, hood scoop. Yep, and 10-speed. Yeah. 10-speed so, auto. Uh, this one was loaned to us by our friends at General Motors. Uh, so thank you, GM, uh, for getting us. I think we're one of the first publications to have this. You want to close awesome. it? I don't want to slam it. There we go. And of Bam. course, the one that everybody is emailing us about, uh, and there's a story behind this. Uh, so this Ford is actually an F-350, and it was provided by who, Andre? Elevation Off Grid. They're friends of ours, and they're based in Colorado, near Denver, Colorado, in fact. And they modify usually F-550 trucks, so big commercial pickups. But this is something new they're doing. They're calling it the Black Series, and it's based on an F-350 chassis. And by chassis, I mean it's a crew cab, and it's a 4x4, but it has a very unique suspension. Yeah, uh, the suspension actually lifts the truck up and down, so you can actually get more height or less height depending on your needs. Yeah, you can see right here, actually, it's called Liquid Spring Smart Suspension, and it's driver adjustable, and also it adjusts itself while you drive, so it tries to level out the vehicle and such. And because this is a black edition truck with elevation, this is their design of the bumper. Uh, they have also the tow points and the winch and additional lights. 
so they add all these parts to it. Do you remember when like uh, the power wagon was, you know, the standard for an off-road heavy duty truck? Yeah. And now look, we've got not one, not two, but three very modified, very off-road worthy HD trucks. Yeah, I think Ram needs to update the power wagon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is a power stroke and this is a high output, 6.7 liters, 500 horsepower and 1200 pound feet of torque with a 10 speed. So this is a monster on power, at least on paper. Now, if you're wondering how much each of these vehicles costs, we're gonna let you know at the end of this video, but I think right now we have a special guest reviewer who's sitting behind the seat of the Ram, ready to take us for a brief drive, Andre. So let's take them for a drive. Let's do a quick comparison between the three of them before, of course, we do all of our standard testing. Starting it up. What up, Nathan? Hey. Hey, good to have you. Yeah, hey, girl. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, you guys needed someone far more handsome and interesting for this with, run. So. With lots of gravitas. Serious gravitas. Yes. By the way, I want to accelerate. Okay. There's a little bit of a lag coming with the Cummins, isn't there? There's the Cummins. But, but it pulls like a freight train, and it looks really cool. Do you like the look of the latest Ram? It's not, no. Um, but I like the look of this Ram. Oh, this particular one. Yeah, because it kind of looks like a power wagon, but with fatter wheels, which is exactly what I want it to look like. You know, when you step back and look at this truck, um, and it's riding on 37s, yeah. but sometimes it seems like a tire is actually smaller because the truck is so big and it hides the size of the tire. It really is burly. Um, although, <laughs> sitting next to those other two trucks, it doesn't seem quite as burly, uh, but I will say this. They still do really good interiors, even on this model, which is not top of the line and the infotainment system on this, as basic as it is, is better than the other two. Well, here's the thing. It also has to do with value, right? Right, right. Um, and this used to be a big horn when we started with this truck, uh -huh. uh, which means it's kind of a, not a tradesman, but one step above that. Exactly. Um, so it's, it doesn't have all the protection underneath, mm -hmm. uh, but, and we can't talk about fuel efficiency because these trucks are so different from when they started, right? Right, right, of course. That's why we're gonna go and do a lot more testing with these trucks. I am looking forward to all the testing in the future and stand by for all that. But in the meantime, I gotta say, this truck, I mean, yeah, it's not as new as those other ones, but man, it's cool. Yeah, and the cab is not maybe as spacious as some of the other newer vehicles, right? Because this is using the older design cab yeah. in the Ram lineup, but hey, um, and by the way, value, this truck started at $68,000 and we added about 25 to 30K of parts and labor to this truck. Okay, so we're just under 100 grand, would you say? Yeah, maybe 95-ish, something like this. Gee, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a lot. I know, but, I know. But, and and that's, that's the problem, of course, with these super trucks, but at the same time, look, we built this, essentially. Yeah. Right? We, we are the ones who put it together, put the money into it to build it the way it is. Yeah. And for the money, I would challenge other automakers, truck makers, to build something like this at this price from the factory. Exactly, because let's get into the GMC Sierra and that's a little bit more premium. Mm -hmm. and, and it's built from the factory. Yes, and the price goes up a bit. Exactamundo. Okay. I don't like that. Oh, you don't like the, the button that looks kind of like square? It doesn't look like a starter button. I want it to be round or red. But that's how GMC differentiates itself from others. Oh, there's a lot of other things they do to differentiate themselves. So, yeah. That's what I meant to say, of course. Yes. Um, this is a very different vehicle than the one that was based on, because this thing feels like a tank. Yes, so it's also at the top of their luxury price point and off-road capability standpoint. And speaking of capability, yeah. um, that Ram right there uh -huh. has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds and about 2,000 pounds of payload-ish. Mm -hmm. That's stock, right? Yes. This vehicle has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,350 mm -hmm. and a payload of about 2,600 pounds. Ah. So already the payload is a little bit is a bit higher. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's uh, give her a little bit of yes. oh, another. Oh. So there was a lag there. Small, a yeah, small delay. Yeah, but this one feels pretty hard. Yeah, actually, I'm actually kind of a little bit pinned yeah. in my seat. Surprising. Now, 
the bumpers, the armor, all the undercoating crap that they put on yeah. there on this thing, and I don't mean crap in a nasty way, I'm just like, there's so much stuff in there. All of that was built by AEV, right? Correct. But what AEV does, they design those parts in, 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 in collaboration with GM, uh -huh. and then they send it to GM factory. This truck was built at Flint Assembly Factory in Michigan. and. It's all crash tested, it's all certified, it's all approved, and it's all together, right, as one. Right. Which makes this truck really expensive. But well, it does have the, what do you think about the ride? Uh, Ram versus this? This is better. Okay. This, the DSSV is one of the best riding setups I've had in any vehicle that I've driven from General Motors. I mean, yeah, you still feel it's a little bit on the firm side. The handling for something that's this heavy with all this extra stuff is quite good. And the trade-off, of course, is off-road, which we'll be testing another time. But I really do like the trade-off that they have. The balance they struck with this uh, spool system, it's really good. One thing I want to mention, yeah. uh, infotainment system, yes. as great as this screen is yes. and everything else, um, it's not that easy to use. It's not intuitive at all. The one in the Ford and the one in the Ram are better, in my mind. Okay. And then um, the other thing is, so this has slightly smaller tires, believe it or not, 35s. I mean, we've all been asking for 35s, yeah. and GM finally delivers. And now that we got 37s. And now everybody, you know, not everybody, but you know, some Raptors have 37s already, right? right. So, Yeah, it, it, it's not as substantial looking as the other trucks in that respect, but with the armor on here and everything else, it looks seriously angry, which I love. And the capability of this truck, we already know it's capable, but this might be a step up from it, and I'm looking forward to testing the hell out of this thing. One quick question. Yeah. What's the rear end of this? So, Ram is 373 to one. Right. This, a 342 to one uh -huh. from the factory. Okay. And the Ford, well, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. But the price on this GMC Sierra is 104,150 bucks. Oh, that's a lot of money. Whew. But that's the sticker price. That's the way it comes. Bam. Yeah, with all the stuff that's on here. Yeah, already. So that's the debate. Whether or not you build a truck and try to go under that price, but it's hard to do, or do you buy one with all the stuff already on it? Yes. Now, my friend, we are in the new Super Duty. Yeah, but this is a modified Super Duty. Yes, but this is the 2023 plus generation, right? Uh -huh. So 2024 Super Duty is already arriving at dealers. This is a 2023, which basically has all the latest design, including the new dash, 12 inch, infotainment screen, 12-inch gauge cluster, additional gauges, and this is a Lariat, so it's kind of a mid-grade for the Super Duty. It's Larry. It. Okay, and I gotta say, already much better infotainment system setup, at least, yeah. over the previous generation. I would that agree. I, could say. Yeah. You know, I like the way they position the screen much better, all this. Um, we'll give, I'm, I'm, can I accelerate a little? Yeah, give it a little bit of juice. This is a high output. All right, here we go. Okay. Ah, oh. there it is. Oh. Did you break traction there? Is that, is that what happened? I was rolling already, so okay. this thing, it's different than the other two. Uh, spools up a little bit faster, there still is a little bit of delay. You can kind of feel it go and yeah. it go. Yeah. Um, very, well, very we'll do uh, acceleration testing later, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, Zero yeah. to 60, it's quarter mile. But it's interesting, this is not a light truck at all right. uh, with all this extra stuff it has on here yet. It moves pretty good. Um, what do you think of the design? I mean, just of the Ford itself, I mean, before you get to all the extra stuff that they added on. Yes, so it's a new design. Dude, the headlamp is humongous. It's like, I don't know, two feet tall. I know, I I've never seen headlamps bigger. I think it's bigger than semi-trucks or bus headlamps. I don't mind the design, though. I, I honestly think it's a slightly better looking the design than the previous one, and I like the previous one as well. So, the, on balance, if I had my choice of the three of them in terms of the design I like, I still like the Ram, but that's because of what we did to it, right? Yeah. But Ford stock already, I think, looks pretty good, so it's I'm loving it. And of course, this is a 37, so I think this makes this truck proportional, right? Right. Like we talked about with the Ram on 37s. Uh, this has a 331 rear axle oh. with a locker, so actually more of an efficiency rear axle uh -huh. because this truck was just... This, it doesn't feel it's, like it's, it's it still looks alright because this truck was just kind of plucked from the group right right it wasn't specifically ordered uh, for this conversion but you could not you can actually pick up any super duty give it to elevation upgrade mm -hmm. and they can put the liquid spring suspension either for about twenty five thousand dollars on top of the price of the truck right or this black edition with the bumpers and the winch and some of the other components 
uh, $45,000. This truck with this engine, which is the top of the line engine, yes. right? What does it cost? 80 grand okay. plus 45. So right now we're sitting in this truck. By the way, it has height adjustable suspension, oh, yeah. right? Ride modes including comfort, normal, uh -huh. and sport. So this is about 125k. I mean, it's as a, we as we sit now. But that's not much more expensive than the than the GMC. It's about 20k over. Well, it is but once again, we have panoramic sunroof, heads-up yeah. display. So we have all those features that the GMC has and more. I want to play with this so bad. Okay. okay. Can I just randomly hit buttons? Uh, hit out? sport. Uh, just sport. go go up on this. Okay. Sport. I'm in sport mode. Okay. So is it going to lower me a little bit and firm up the springs? Uh, it will firm up the suspension, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Suspension, not springs. Cause it's There's no suspension. springs. It's all, it's, it's, all, all liquid. it's all liquid. And you, you might be wondering, how does this work? Well, we have a whole video describing it. Basically, there are additional uh, reservoirs, right? Because you can't compress liquid. <laughs> so it's constantly moving, right? right? And they have really clever valves. So that's a whole different video. Okay, very cool. Well... Uh, it's time to f figure out which one we like the best. Hey, Nathan, shall we wish our uh, viewers a happy HD Thanksgiving? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, an HD Thanksgiving means forget a turkey, get an ostrich. That is HD Thanksgiving. All right, now we're going to be doing a lot more testing with all these trucks. Like I said, we're going to go towing with them. We're going to go off-roading with them. But Andre, we've got some more surprises coming. What's Ford sending us? Well, actually, we're getting two more Super Duties. We're going to have a Tremor from the factory and also kind of a street-worthy gas-powered Super Duty. So uh, this is just the beginning of our heavy-duty fun. And guys, come back to where, Nathan? To alltfl.com. For more reviews, especially more heavy-duty or Super Duty truck reviews, happy Thanksgiving. Cheers, guys. Gobble, gobble. See you next time. Ciao.